It's okay, little anvil. You have a good home to go to. It's gonna be okay. Hey guys, if you seen my last video, you've seen I went down to Holland at Holland Anvil, and if you didn't figure it out, I went to Holland Anvil for an anvil. Um, I got the switch block for a good deal. I got this friggin' anvil for a pretty good deal too. Um, they're originally $975. I got a pretty good deal in my opinion. And I'm gonna show you the, the one thing that they refused to sell this anvil at full price for and gave me a pretty good discount on. And we're gonna see if you can see it before I tell you what it is. You ready? I'm really excited. Whew. Boom. Holland Anvil. And I got an upsetting block, which when I was looking for anvil, I wanted one. I hated trying to use the face of my anvil, my other anvil, to pound down on, to upset. Hated it. Had to have it. I got a nice little shelf, which is very sharp. Um, I'm gonna have to radius all the edges here. But one of the biggest things I had to have was dual horns. Had to have it. Um, this one is a cone shape. It's nice rounded. It'll be good for making nice round um, things like bottle openers or uh, table legs, like doing a nice fancy little curl. This will come in really handy for that. The face is super hard compared to my other anvil. And then these edges and the square side will be really good for, I mean, a lot of stuff, anything you gotta get in close with these sharp angles. Um, this is gonna help with uh, making shovels and stuff like that. Um, you can get into the nice sharp corners and it's got a nice little round uh, tip here. So I gotta radius all this. So if you haven't seen the issue with this anvil that they refused to sell it at full price for and they told me it was a blemish and there was an issue with it and they just could not sell it at full price. If the guy wouldn't have told me, I wouldn't have noticed and we have been looking at it almost this entire time. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this a little bit. You can kinda see it. If you know what you're looking for, you can kinda see it. So, if you've seen it before I tell you, or tell you, I want to see your comment below. This hardy hole. If you look to this edge and this edge, it is ever so slightly turned. I mean, I think he said it's between one and f one and three degrees off. He says it's perfectly vertical in all orientations, it is literally one to three degrees off from being lined up with the edge. That is it, that is the only issue with this entire anvil. Like this thing is friggin' nice. So yeah, overall I am super happy with this anvil. Uh, customer service was amazing. Um, I did some hammer rebounds like on my other anvil, this one over here. Um, well, you know what? I wasn't going to. Let's go ahead and uh, do a little tappy tap. If you don't like loud noises, I quit paying attention, but go ahead and I'm just gonna pick it up and so like four taps. And that one's mounted, silicone, like sitting on the floor, like fully mounted. This one is literally sitting on a freaking essentially a four by or an eight by two or whatever. So we're gonna go ahead and this one's gonna be loud. This one had like eight bounces. Is it like, I don't know what the height rebound is, but it bounces the hammer almost twice as far, or twice as many times. So this should be amazing when I get to forging. So yeah, overall, super happy. I went down to Holland Anvil. I've been fighting with myself, deciding which anvils to buy and swedge blocks, stuff like that. And um, I'm really happy that I got the one I did. Um, that little bit of degree off, I plan on making most of my own hardy tools anyway. And if not, I can heat up my new hardy tools and turn them just enough to make it square. And then every time I drop it in, it'll be square or it'll be a little bit more off. 
um, it's something I feel I can work around. And with the amount of money I saved, I think it's totally worth it. Um, yeah, so I would definitely recommend Holland Anvil. Uh, so far, I'll do more of a review, and when I touch up the corners on this one, I'll get with you guys and let you guys see uh, what I'm doing. Um, anybody who has, if for some chance you have a double horned anvil, um, which edge would you do you prefer having more radius? Because when I do um, set downs on the edge and I do uh, tapers, um, it's hard for me to know which edge I should do uh, the heavier radius. So I mean, if you know, cool. If not, I'm just going to soft radius all the edges and then I'll look and see how as I go but the more I know when I start the better off it'll be but yeah so thanks for watching and seeing all my new toys the last few videos um, I really want to get back into forging uh, I've been cleaning the garage today I took some breaks to make some videos um, so the last three videos have all been shot back to back um, so they're going to be a little bit they're all going to kind of look the same um, and that's because I was taking a break from all the hard work I've been doing and having a little bit of fun on my YouTube. I miss my YouTube. So, um, yeah, like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think I should get next because at this point I'm getting to the point where I don't know what other tools I could really use yet. Um, somebody put a power hammer for sale for $3,200 and I already spent all my money. So that's a bummer because I really like the little giant power hammers. Um, I think I'd have fun with one, but I am far from having enough skill for that. But yeah, that stuff I said earlier, and uh, you know, let the like, share, and subscribe jazz. And uh, thanks for watching, and hopefully you guys stick around to actually see some forging videos. I gotta get some stuff mounted, so I will see you guys next time.